hi editing amy here so i just wanted to share a little of our dinner plans this week this last week um so we are making my quick sausage and peppers it's very simple and works really well for a uh, midweek dinner um if you have a little more time it's great to leave the sausages whole and then you know um cut them up later or leave them whole and let them simmer longer or whatever but um that it's a really great recipe um so i hope you tried that one and then i'm also making some buffalo chicken tacos that are absolutely delicious and also really quick too and can be made from just what you have laying around. So I hope you enjoy today's video. get the sausage and peppers started by just slicing up an onion and then we will get that into the pan with some olive oil a little salt and pepper Next, we're going to get the garlic out of their little jackets and slice up some peppers. I am slicing these into more bite-sized pieces since we are going to be eating these in sandwiches. Things will cook more evenly if you cut them in like, like shapes and sizes. And since this is kind of a quick meal, uh, the smaller you cut things, the faster they will cook as well. Another tip while you are cutting peppers is to cut them from the inside out. If you use the knife the, on them the other way, it can dull your knives. the sausages in the pan and I'm using just some regular Italian sausages for this feel free to use mild or spicy even however you like them but I was hoping that my girls might try this they did not but that's all right we'll get there um, so we're just gonna get those browned up a little bit and then once they're browned on all sides we're gonna cut them up because we do want to make this quick it is a weeknight and i need to get dinner on the table for jeff and i adding those peppers in moving the onions around just so they pick up a little bit of that color and the flavor from the sausages and then we're going to add in just a small amount of water to really get things moving and pick up some of the deliciousness on the bottom of the pan. Yeah. 
as you can see the sausages are clearly not cooked but that's kind of the point here I'm trying to make this go quicker so we'll get these all sliced back up and then we'll get them back into the pan shortly adding in our three or four cloves of garlic whatever is your preference we like garlic in this family so I went with four adding back in those sausages and now some passata you can use tomato puree you could use crushed tomatoes honestly whatever kind of tomato product you'd like works well here some Italian seasoning to taste and then some more salt and pepper before we let this cover this and let this simmer for another 10 minutes so while the filling is cooking we're going to prep the rolls just slicing these in half and then i'm going to butter both sides and then we will get these in the oven under the broiler just adding a little mozzarella to each side of the roll I'm using pre shredded if you have fresh shred, you know freshly grated that would be great here too it would melt a little bit easier but now we'll get these in get the dog out of the way and get these under the broiler and don't mind my pan in here that I was letting dry that I totally forgot about but it, as you can see the broilers on and those will just take a moment before they're nice and ooey gooey and we can fill them All right, so I took some of the sausages out and sliced them up really small because I find it easier to eat. I find that you're not, this is a messy sandwich. Like this is not something you wanna eat on a first date. Like this is messy, but it's divine. So I really recommend that you try it, but slice your sausages up smaller. It'll be so much easier to eat than trying to like tear at your sandwich. So I'm just gonna fill up both buns here with all the filling get some extra sauce and then we're going to top it with the best part the burrata going to take that half of a burrata and split that between the two sandwiches make sure that it covers everything and then we're going to get some freshly cracked black pepper and we are good to go all right moving on to our buffalo chicken tacos i'm just making some ranch it's just some sour cream and Hidden Valley Ranch powder. It's nothing special, um, but I will leave a recipe linked down below for kind of the inspiration from this recipe. 
from Half Bake Harvest. I did not follow her recipe exactly, more of a guideline, but honestly, it was delicious and I highly recommend you check it out. Whether you use my version or hers, um, I recommend hers. She makes some really, really awesome recipes. But um, we are gonna get an onion chopped up. I'm only using half because it's what I had um, in the refrigerator that needed to be used up. And we'll get that chopped up and then get the chicken going in the pan and get dinner going. I apologize for the blurry footage. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with my camera. I promise it does clear up soon, um, but we'll get it figured out. I apologize. So I'm just getting some seasonings going here. I have some garlic, paprika, oregano, uh, what else is there? Parsley. Again, I will leave the recipe linked down below. I did use most of the seasonings that she recommends. I didn't have everything, so I just didn't put it in if I didn't have it. Then we're gonna use some Frank's Red Hot, finish off one bottle, and then adding in some wing sauce. And her recipe does call for salsa verde. Didn't have that on hand, so I'm just using a red salsa that we have. Again, use what you have, make it your own. Um, the recipes are made to be guidelines, unless they're baking, then you need measurements. But um, make it to your taste. And honestly, these were phenomenal. So I am using ground chicken and I believe that is what the recipe calls for but these also would be, would be great with turkey um, but chicken is a go-to in our house. I had also made tacos for the kids um, this night as well so made those first got them eating and then um, making dinner for Jeff and I adding in the onions get that all cooking I have one hand because I have the baby in the other hand so what we do what we can as moms right Now I'm adding salt and pepper to the chicken and the rest of the seasonings to make it kind of taco-y. Now I'm adding in that salsa and Frank's Red Hot. And then it didn't really look like quite enough liquid for me, so I do add a splash of water just to make it a little saucier so that the uh, salsa and Frank's go a little further and just kind of absorb a little bit better into the meat. Now we're gonna prep our taco shells here. So I'm just taking some hard shell tacos, stand them up, and then we're gonna put some shredded cheese inside of them and throw them in the oven. I think 350, 400. We just wanna melt the cheese here. We're not looking to, you know, bake things. Everything's going to be already cooked. So we just want to melt the cheese on the bottom layer then we're going to add the filling some more cheese and get that all melted up in the oven again
topping these with a little bit of torn cilantro and then we'll get them plated up. like to dip in this family so that's why we are getting a little on the side as well as in the taco honestly these were so good when they were all gone we both were so sad so it, Jeff has requested that this become a weekly rotation they were so good please please make these thanks so much for watching please subscribe hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.